Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, let's see how you can learn things two times faster in 2025. This video is going to be purely informative with free resources. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Let's get started without wasting any time. So to learn things two times faster, you need two things. Number one is you need to adopt to AI pair programming. What does this mean? This means whenever you are learning something, just add the AI co-pilots, something like GitHub co-pilot or cursor AI to your IDE environments. Let's say you are learning shell scripting and you are using Visual Studio Code. Just add GitHub Copilot to your Visual Studio Code and that can help you to become 2x in learning. Let me show you how. So I have a Visual Studio Code environment on my laptop. All that I need to do is go to the extension section and search for GitHub Copilot. You can also use any other AI Copilot extensions like Cursor AI or others. But the thing is, Microsoft has recently made GitHub Copilot free to use. So just search for GitHub Copilot and click on the install button. Once you install, it will ask you to sign up, sign in into your GitHub account. So provide your GitHub credentials and the Copilot is ready to access. Once you have Copilot installed and configured, like I mentioned, let's say you are learning shell scripting. You are watching Abhishek Viramalla's tutorial and you are trying to create S3 bucket using shell scripting. Just for example. So you will provide the name of the file appropriately because it matters a lot for the copilot. You need to provide the right file name. And you saw in the tutorial, the first thing that Abhishek mentioned is shebang. So you will provide the shebang and then you see something in the tutorial where let's say I mentioned AWS S3 make bucket S3 colon double slash followed by dollar one. Now you are not really sure what exactly is this dollar one. You might have missed previous videos or you are completely new to shell scripting. So you did not understand what exactly is this dollar one. So you can just right click, click on the copilot and ask Copilot to explain. And instantly you will see Copilot trying to explain you that, okay, in shell scripting, $1 is a positional parameter where $1 represents the first argument that is passed to the script. So it is trying to explain you that as part of command line arguments, when you are running the script, instead of hard coding the bucket name in the script, you will use $1 so that user can provide the bucket name when they execute the script. For some reason, let's say you still did not understand. Abhishek, I read through this completely, but I don't understand what exactly is it. What you can do is you can ask Copilot, explain this with a very simple example. Now it will improve the response and it is telling you, okay, let's say you are doing something like this and you are using $1. So whenever the user executes the script, user provides something as the argument to the script where this something is replaced with $1 and the output will be the first argument is 
hello so hello which is the first argument to the script is replaced by dollar 1 abhishek can i can it make things even more simple for me let's say i don't prefer uh, learning things in english or i don't understand the uh, documentation that it provided you can also ask copilot to explain this in telugu so copilot can also respond back to you in your mother tongue or the language that you prefer isn't it amazing so this helps very much when you are learning things right uh, when you are a beginner and when you don't understand something in the script although it is provided in the documentation it is provided on the youtube channel this is where the ai extensions can help you not only that what it can also do let's say you are creating multiple s3 buckets within the script and you have written a simple loop where you say for i in dollar or just for i in 1 to 10 do aws s3 mb right s3 colon double slash dollar 1 hyphen dollar i and done so this is explained on the youtube channel but while copying the command for some reason let's say you did simple mistake instead of i you mentioned i i because you are a beginner you might have missed something you can copy this or you can just hover on top of it and you can ask the copilot to fix it and it says the problem is that variable i i should be replaced by i so and i mean you can accept the response where copilot actually fixed it for you so it said okay you provided something wrong let me try to fix it for you and you can also ask the copilot that hey copilot can you generate the docs for it like any docs that is required so that my user understands the script better so on top of this for loop a script is completely provided a documentation is completely provided now it makes the users understand the script better it can also add the tests for you so this is where people you know don't make the full use of copilot they think that ai pair programming or copilots is only for the developers but as a devops engineer as a cloud engineer you can make the most out of it but abhishek i don't use shell scripting or python on a day to day basis is it still useful definitely assume you are writing a terraform file or a hcl file where you just mention main.tf as the file name and you are trying to use the aws provider same thing you are trying to create s3 bucket using terraform and you just say provider aws right and let's say you mention the region us east one now you are looking for some help or you already know that you need to write a resource block but uh, you know while writing the resource block you provided the resource name as something wrong so you said s3 bucket create and you just name the resource uh, something as abc okay and when you executed this it will obviously fail so you want terraform to correct this just like how we did for shell script so first thing is you can ask the copilot to fix or otherwise you can also ask copilot to 
explain what you have written. In this case, I'll just ask Copilot to fix and okay, it said, see, the resource has to be AWS underscore S3 underscore bucket inside the double quote and then you can provide the name of the resource as anything. So this way it can help you with Terraform, it can help you with Ansible, it can help you with shell script, your Kubernetes YAML files, Docker file, everything that is used in DevOps and cloud. And this is completely free. If you carefully watch, it is using the uh, GPT 4.0 model, which is also a very powerful model. It can uh, provide you with latest of information as well. Not completely up to date, but the things that it provides can be trusted. So this is number one, which I wanted to share and it can really make a difference in your learning process. Number two, a lot of you might be already aware of it, but roadmap is very, very essential. There are a lot of roadmaps on the internet these days. For example, if you search for DevOps roadmap, you get a lot of roadmaps. If you go for Java development roadmap, you get a lot of roadmaps. It is important that you follow the right roadmap and that is provided by someone. You know, don't randomly go for any roadmaps because you will find roadmaps for 10 days as well. You will find roadmaps that are very simple, but make sure the roadmap that is provided or one that you follows is proven. Someone has followed that roadmap and they have become successful. In DevOps and Cloud, I have recently provided a roadmap, which is a lengthy one, but that is proven and used by a lot of people who successfully landed into DevOps and Cloud roles. So follow such roadmaps and you can Follow the roadmaps for completely free and the resources that I have provided on the roadmap are also completely free. The point that I want to make is make sure you follow the roadmaps that are clear and that are proven. Don't randomly go for any roadmap that is available on the internet. So this is the video for today. These are the two things that I wanted to share which can make your learnings two times faster. Recently, I have also started DevOps 24 by 7 support. If you become member of the channel, you will get access to a Slack group where you can ask questions and you can expect the response as soon as possible. In future, we are planning to move to a Discord channel for better support and we are also trying to recruit the people so that we can provide 24 by 7 support. The link is in the description if you want to join DevOps 24 by 7 support. See you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.